Like Pompey, Port Vale saved themselves with a thumping away win. This one at Huddersfield. Martin Foyle volleyed the first after just two minutes. Then Foyle's flicks it up the Swede, Jan Janssen, for the next. Janssen's second was no less impressive. Not bad from a man who just cost £150,000 from Lil Copping. Lee Mills wrapped up the win from a corner. And Port Vale, like Portsmouth, had saved their very best till last. Jeremy Langdon, Sky News. If Joe Royal and his side had known the full extent of the utter frustration that lay ahead, they would surely have climbed into their coach and headed back home. King Clatsy's surprise inclusion in the squad was obviously a bonus for the City fans. As it turned out, the Georgians stayed on the bench for what proved to be an extremely tense first half. The atmosphere wasn't helped by early crowd problems. Thankfully, police nipped that in the bud, but there was no hiding the anxiety on and off the pitch. It was Sean Gota, though, who lifted City's spirits with his cunning lob on the half hour. And the visitors certainly deserved their second just after the break. Paul Dickoff giving Southall no chance. Stoke hopes were briefly raised when Thorne was finally rewarded for his hard work. But Bradbury's header almost straight from the kickoff ensured there was no way back for the Potters. And Gotha's second put the result beyond any doubt. By then, no news was filtering through from the other games. And further goals from Kevin Herlock. And then Thorne only added to the air of unreality. Trouble flared again outside the ground after the match. Most fans, though, were resigned to their fate. Reading, Stoke and Man City relegated a city in the end. One point adrift off QPR, Portsmouth and also Port Vale.